Ayo, Ducky, so I just got asked something awesome on stream, which was, can we use, like, a browser source for a shout-out? So if somebody shouts out somebody on the stream, maybe mods do it, you can put their profile picture in there of who you shout out, which is totally doable. I'm going to be using Streamerbot for this because I use Streamerbot for everything. I've got a browser source inside of OBS at the moment, which is just here, with a random link in it at the moment, and the width and height is 300 by 300, because that's the default size of a, a Twitch profile picture that it, it pulls down. So we create an action inside of Streamerbot, so you just right click and press add. I'm going to be just using this test one for now. Uh, triggers, we can um, set that up in just a second, and the sub actions is what creates the actual thing. So if I go to commands, I'm going to create a new command by right clicking and press add, and we're going to call this one shout out for now, and the command is going to be exclamation mark SO for shout out, right? And you can do it on Twitch and YouTube, but I'm just going to show Twitch for this this method. But you just basically do the same thing, but for YouTube, and make sure you turn on YouTube like that. So I'm going to make it so only moderators can use it. Obviously, you could do it with VIPs and everything. It's up to you. I'm going to press OK, and I'm going to go over to Actions again. I'm going to go to this Test Action. Uh, and in fact, I'll call the action Shout Out just so we don't get confused. So if I go Shout Out just here, I'm going to right click and in the triggers menu and we're going to go down to the core and then we're going to go to commands and we're going to go command triggered because we're triggering a command we can get the drop down list and we should see shout out the one that we created exclamation mark so press that and we're going to press okay we can also create the command in there if we wanted to as well rather than doing it on the other page when you press create command it basically just brings that same window back up i'm going to press okay and then in the sub actions, we need to just get some information. So what I always recommend doing, if you're not too sure what information you want to be getting and what arguments slash variables is, is that you're using, is I just throw in a delay in here with a millisecond, just something. So there's something in your sub action. And then when I pull up my Twitch chat, for instance, uh, one really important thing to, to mention is in the command section, if you have ignore internal messages on, if you're using the streamerbot chat um, box to, to type in the command, it'll ignore it. So make sure you uncheck that if if you want to use the internal thing. So if I do exclamation mark SO test for now, and I go to the action queues, go to action history, you'll see shout out has been triggered. You can organize this by the queue when it was queued as well to make it a bit easier. If I double click into that, we can see all of the different variables that are there. Uh, the one that we're going to be using today is the raw input, uh, no, input zero. So this basically is each word. So if I write in here, exclamation mark, so this is a sentence, even though it's probably not, and I open that action history, you'll see you've got input zero, input one, input two for each word. So that's how you can pull a certain word out of a phrase, which is really cool. But we just want input zero for now. So we can right click and press copy, or you can do the escaped one as well, depending on if people are trying to troll you and stuff. But if moderators are doing it, it should be fine. So I'm going to use input zero and go back to actions. Uh, we can delete the delay now. Uh, that's fine. And I'm just going to right click and we are going to go down to Twitch. Um, and then we're going to go down to user. And we're going to get user info for target. So we're getting the user's information. The source type will be from a variable because it's the variable that we're going to be using. And if you remember what that was, it was input zero. So it's going to take whatever's in input zero and get the user data of that, that word or that username. And we're going to press OK. And then now we've got that, we can do another shout out test. So if I do uh, SO Bongo1986, for instance, I didn't even click in the box, SO Bongo1986, just like that. And I go to the action queues, I'll be able to see what variables I've got that I can use here. So as you saw, input zero is Bongo1986, it's done that. And if we scroll all the way down, you'll see the target user, the username that we're targeting, everything about them whether or not they're a partner or an affiliate. And the thing that we want is the profile picture. So we're going to get target user profile image URL. I'm going to right click that one and press copy. Obviously, there's a lot of other information you can use here, which is pretty cool. So get creative with this, do whatever you want. And we're going to basically edit this browser source inside of OBS to 
basically be that person's profile picture. So I'm going to right click and we're going to go to OBS, go down to sources, and we're going to do set uh, browser source URL just there. And the URL that we're going to use is the percent sign and then paste what we had in there with control V and percent sign. So we've got target user profile image URL. Make sure we're connected to the correct OBS, the correct scene that that browser source is on, and also the correct browser source name, uh, the sources, because I've just called it browser. And we're going to press OK. Now, if I do shout out, so SO Bongo1986, we'll be able to see that, that that browser source is now updated to that person's username. So if I do exclamation mark SO Andy Lippy, it'll obviously pull my profile picture. And that is just like the bare basics of how to get this working. It's like I said, it's the exact same thing if you're doing YouTube as well, just follow the same kind of path, but you just want to use the YouTube version as well. And uh, yeah, you can add more animations doing show and hide transitions, everything. If this video helped you, make sure you do like it and also subscribe because I do tons of this content and drop videos daily. Put your rock with the stone. Much love.